Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome to another exciting, 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 ask evil, exciting episode of Kiki on Scripted. On this very particular episode, I'll be talking about those moments. The life you do look down upon me. Also, when you walk a kid, I will humble you. You know, there are times you meet yourself and find yourself. No, there are two different things. So, there's a time you will meet yourself in a condition. There's another time you will find yourself in a condition. When you find yourself in a condition, it means that you know about it. But when you meet yourself in a condition, you are brand new to that situation. You didn't know about it. They didn't inform you all of a sudden you just find yourself there now the first is gonna be the first time ever the first and the last time I was ever hypnotized I don't know where there's food when food it's not where I didn't know that there's food but as of one long on the side of the most I God, the Ali will shady okay I never knew where food can walk no for me Mm, I think this is around a uh, year 2000 and general year, you I think that was around year 2008, around that period of time. I'm going to picnic in our church. We used to do picnic. So I was going to drive out of my compound and I realized that my tire was flat and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to fix these tires. And then I drove to like the entrance of my estate. There's a but I forgot he knows, you know, situate himself there. Upon reaching up there, I am just, you know, waiting by the junction. And then these two white garment people, they just approach me. They say, ah, auntie a castle, ah, money a castle. With so much anger because I'm like, yo, my tire is flat. I'm going for picnic. This day is about to be messed up. Do not tell me rubbish. And they're like, hey, hey Joshua, what you she? You saw Gia Labo, you. Ah, ah. <laughs> hey, 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 that me long. She won't know you. How did you carry pregnant? How did you have pregnant? How did you catch pregnant? Why are you not asking me, babe? Where are they doing you saw Gia Labo, you? I said, ah, me, ma. Me, ma, get girls. So now they have already gone. Base, you know, as a Christian, Muaro, these people, they are not the cause of the predicament of my problem. Why am I removing the hunger on their body? Where is wrong? That's how the woman to have everything. She come back. And she might be no. More, you must be like, oh, hey, Joe. Nibu, you want to see it's a jala for you. Mistake. So to read that time, they are using a technique. Technique in your way when they ask you a question. Madam, hey, <laughs> because the monument you give an answer is like whether your answer is a password. Once you log in, the end it any. That's how I just enter, my dear brother and sailor. That's how that auntie just look at me, say, mm. Auntie, she mo kebe she why you o logo me jini. There's no 3G. We are still using 2G. Oh, I'm not thinking in my mind that ah, that's true. As I'm looking at myself, they should be hearing my name in the UK, in the US, in Canada. What's really happening? Money burning, my money. In Tawa, my chef, I'm going to buy Jane, I'm going to buy Nia, I'm My dear brother and sister, do you have the belief? She I off everything that is having meta in my body, including jarring, chain, bracelet, wristwatch, and in my handbag. I'm having one camera that time that anywhere I go, that camera is not always with me. You also now happen to be a dealer. I'm having some catch at hand. Everything in my handbag. The woman said you have to drop your handbag because your handbag is having iron. Hey, money kilo day. Let's see how your man. See, she was little. She said, from this point, you will not count 
seven lamp posts you know lamp posts that are light street light that's always on the road you will pick one one stone from each lamp post you now bring the seven stones back to me it is this stone that will use to do the deliverance ah, ah. i'm not that moment my wisdom when i wake up professor gp ah, ah. seven stone we bow she said oh make sure you are not doubting the spirit of god now let me show you something he said, I should spit in this hand, in my palm. My dear is spit in my palm. Oh. Hey. She now said, close it. Say, God forgive me seven times. Let me not mercy. God forgive me. God forgive me. God forgive me. God. I say it seven times. She said, open your hand. I open the hand. My dear brother and sister. Hey. This is my yes, my boy. His saliva is not there. His saliva is not there. I am so surprised. Yeah, what happened? She said, Hanty. I look at the back of my palm. I find this alive out there. Money, Jesus, Jesus. That day, my trip. Money, what I said, that's to show you the work of God. Money, oh, this is the work of God. In total, Emmanuel, I'm sorry. Hey, Shad, I forgive me. <laughs> my dear, that's how I believe me. It's God that sent them to me. Not looking at my Isha, Okuta, Kino, Dila, Isha, Lakwata. Murazi, Lampwa, Mokuta Kumbe. There is power that's in the blood. There is power. Lamp two. I think, I think I don't two. Now, the people that are selling plantain in the second estate gate, they don't have something. I look at them, I'm like, ah, oh, please. There is power, mighty in the blood. I'm going. Lamp was three. I take the first stone. And, uh, my brother prayed. He then saw me, sir. Ah, why is Kiki trekking on the road? He said, ah, Kiki, Kiki. I didn't answer. What about you? Agbarambe, Nino, Eje, Jesus. Lampos four. Motimo, I carry another stone. As I'm protruding the journey, I think I follow me now. All of a sudden, I just saw one bench just parked in front of me. Pra. That's my brother. He said, Bukumi. What's wrong with you? What are you doing? What's wrong? I say, I'm like, what the, what the, what the, what the f is this one? What the hell are you? I just passed by the front. I just move. I just continue. Lamp was five. I carry the stone. Surely, my brother just gave me a jack. Just give me one subtle slap. Immediately, my brain is going back to brains as a factory setting. <laughs> my dear, it just became clear. All of a sudden, I'm like, so imagine like I was in front of UCH, for those that know you better properly, and at the time, I was already at Yemetu. I'd already walked for almost 500 meters, and I didn't even know what was going on. And I was like, what's going on? Like, why, what am I doing in Yemetu? Oh, I was just, I was gauging my tire at the, at the, at the, at the organizer, so what am I doing here? What's going on here? And that particular experience, just it channeled me spiritually. I kind of felt like me the side of the most high. Me the side of Oba Oba. Me the side of the ultimate king. A person now use for do. Hey, you mean to tell me we want logo for me? Ah, hey, the ninny of your mother. You need to tell me pay the jazz me and the jazz walk. Wow, why are you call the jazz body? My dear, that was one moment that life humbled me. Now, the second time the life onboard me was going to be one of my trips from Lagos back to, from Ibadan back to Lagos. Now, on this particular trip, I was in the car with one of my friends, Maggie, and then, you know, Norma, you know, Jamie, and, you know, if you know me, you know, girl, wah, Formula One driver, la wah. I am, you know, we can't go break, you know, traffic it, that guy, change lane, you know, pump the brake, you know, accelerate, you know, ah, hey, I used to, I used to still like, I could myself and poor walk out the same WhatsApp group, you know, blessed memory. Now, as I'm saying go, that is how, you know, at the time, Lagos Ibado Expressway was very, very terrible. And then I ran into a portal like, Baka, and I just heard that very loud sound, and I'm like, yo, what's that? Okay, we are, we're good, we're good. And then we kept cruising. Apparently, I lost the tire. I lost the tire, I was standing in this table. And then I looked at my rear mirror, and I realized that all the other vehicles, oh, what happened my behind? They are all slowed down. I'm <laughs> like, give me this, they won't slow down. I just tell you to yo. <laughs> my dear, tell you how to fool yo. So now as we are going, I just, and then I, and then, like all of a sudden, I lost control. And then I held 
family to my steering and then I remember that that very moment that my brother had an accident at some point and then because he slammed the brakes the car literally just to my assault cool me my love so my assault into catapult my robot went wow what am I gonna do all the strength I got in my body I used it to hold the tiny my friend is there shouting hey we're coming king 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 what's up what's up with Jesus 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 and to the special grace of the Almighty God, the living Messiah, my daddy can't stop. When the car not stop filming, as in that very particular moment, I was like, yo, what just happened? And then my friend is just there. Ah. <laughs> when they are killing shit, I lived with this summer sort. That was another moment I realized that no matter how good, no matter how great, no matter how perfect you think you are at anything that you do, the grace of God is just that one thing that keeps you good. So that thing that you are doing that you feel like you are bad as my dear. It's God that is giving you support too. Now you see this particular one. But when life humbled me, it was a group humbled. <laughs> I was traveling with my family and then we missed our flights from the US to the UK. The weather was really, really terrible on this day. So when we got to the airport in the in the US, um, they say, oh, they will delay the flight, blah, blah, blah. The weather is terrible. And then, upon entry of the airport, we are seeing people sleeping on the iron shia. <laughs> I'm telling my brother, like, wait, me, I'm gonna sleep on iron shia. Never. We are thinking that one way or the other, I'll be able to augment the whole situation shift and we'll still be able to find ourselves in the joke. <laughs> Can somebody say you lied? Hey, to my God, somebody lied. Liar, liar. Bobo got to saw me got that here anymore. Liar, liar for life, oh. That's how we try all our endeavor. We try to look for another fly. My mother, my mother is a good mother. She really endeavor for us on that day. As I'm seeing and talking to you, brother and sister, can you believe where we did not make any flights on that day? Like all flights were literally on hold. In the awakening of that circumstance, that's when we now realize that we, I said, we are going to sleep in the airport. <laughs> that very moment, I'm not remembering my early statements. May those that I'm abusing that are sleeping on iron share, I say, that's my future. My future is on that iron share. I am going to spend the night on that exact iron share. All the hotels surrounding the airport were fully booked. I was like, wow. And then we had like four hours, like four or five hours to the next flight. And I'm like, wow, this is amazing. Okay, let us get something for dinner. All the restaurants and cafes at, at, at the airport were all closed. The only place that was open in this life is Wasabi. And that's why I always tell people, if you are not in a circumstance or a situation, never say never. I always tell my friends while I was in London that me, I will eat wasabi, I will eat cold fish, cold salad, cold... Why would I be eating cold food? I'm a Yoruba girl. If the food is not hot or pepper, I can't eat it. My dear, have you ever seen where a goat is regurgitating? What do you think goat is regurgitating? That day, I had bread and leaf. Hey, like she me. Like she me. Like she I had bread and leaf. Look at the way I'm shopping the food. As my mother looked upon me and she felt my inner must cry. As if my mom literally went, Oh my god, I feel so bad. I feel bad for myself. My dear, my dear, where to go? Clude, let's go back to my Lord. Oh, you're like, but don't worry, Leah. And that was another moment that I looked around me and I discovered that neither money no athletes, no connection could remove me from that situation. It has been written that on that day, I'm going to spend my night on Iron Share inside AC Airport in abroad. I don't know why they still have AC inside airport. Like abroad, we can't hear we can because when it's not summer, the weather is not ready cold now. Why are you holding the AC? So I'm there like that. So I'm there shaking. <laughs> mommy, like, oh, sorry. Yes, mommy. Yes, mommy. I'm so kicky. Are you okay? I'm okay, mommy. Don't forget, where the bread and the leaf is in my mouth, you. So I will shop it another two minutes. I will suspend it in my mouth. I saw one bed for 10 minutes. I'll be shaking like this. Ah, that very day. Before you can tell me, where I should come and travel, 
anything before me or anything after September, I will think about it because I remember when I went to the US last year and I specifically asked this, eh? Money, fake in the weather. Can you believe weather in your disc now? She do told me, ah, it's, it's summer, it's summer. I am going there, I'm swing shorts and cara gun and cara say, you know, slim jacket. <laughs> when I get there, <laughs> I'm gonna lay out and slay them all. My dear, when I get there, the cold slay me. <laughs> the cold, he, he do slay me. I could not wear any clothes. So before I actually travel, and it's not summer. I have the I have all the document of the location I'm going in my hand. If not, I wish you all the best with yourself and your journey plan. Because that very moment that my airport experience taught me another level of humble. Every time I remember it, I will still remain inside that humility. Thanks. You see this particular moment that life humbled me. This one, <laughs> don't worry me when I'm having beef with police. It's not like we are it's normal. They do do me strong things. <laughs> are you there? That's how that do. I'm just driving JJ and JJ by myself as a holy Christian that you all know that I am. That's how they say, okay, they wave me down. They say, hello, madam, pack my package. They say, what's inside of your boot? Money, nothing. The man who told me, we get that and no point. And because I didn't have any cockroach inside of my combo, everyone going to see me I get that. I open the booth. After which, they say nothing there. The man come back. He said, OK. Uh, where are other particulars? I show this man my particulars. He say, do you have sick caution? I am like, yo, you are not even a Pharisee. Why are you asking me for my sick caution and my, and my road worthiness and all these things? OK, my sick caution is in my trunk. This time, it's already drizzling. The master couldn't know, don't worry, I'll check it for you. I'm observing from my side mirror because <laughs> don't go and move mad inside my boot. So the guy came and said, OK, I've seen it. He gave me my particulars and I was like, you can go. And then I moved. Um, I drove about 200 meters and, the, and then I started and I, I, I realized that my trunk literally just flipped up. I'm like, this guy did not close my boots properly. So I pulled over, it was already raining. I pulled over, got down from the car, quickly went to the back to close the boots. Guess what is closed? <laughs> my dear, the entire car. <laughs> the entire car. So when you go the monument, I close the door. That's how the whole car you do jam. Let me tell you another thing, me. So what about that? Sally, what about that? What's all about that? I am now standing at the junction of Ojota, <laughs> my dear. The vehicle and the key is already locked inside of the vehicle. I'm standing by the road with no shoe, no phone, no money, and rain is is falling. I don't know. Maybe you have seen when a four-year-old wake up and when the bed wet. I'm not standing like this. I'm not there looking. All the rain is, is raining on my body. Everything is dripping. And it was a day that I had makeup on. And I'm like, whoever I offended, you could have sent me a message. If you are not having phone error, you could have sent me an email. You could have discussed this EO amicably. Oh, why? Oh, don't you see me? You are sending rain to me. What did we fight about? I'm very sure that I never used blades to attack anybody. Even as a matter of fact, the needle that they are using to sew at me, if you need to attack in your rain, why are you not sending a natural thing to me? Oh, rain. Can you believe me? I stood beside my car. Yeah, yeah. I stood beside my car. Rainy rain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The rain it finished to rain before I see a panel beater that opened the car for me. Just because I didn't want water to enter my boot. The wet water it entered my entire body. Mama, can I be loving that? If you see the way as the, if, if, if I do like this, water will splash all oh, my body as in. <laughs> Oh my god, if a person can sink of water, think about like Jimmy, that is the day I could have Jimmy. But as God will have it, since that day, I don't want to care the car that I am driving, whether it's a Venza, or it's a Mercedes, or it's BMW, any car that I drive, my dear, I will remove the key before I leave the car. Oh no, Kiki, this car is not auto lock. Uncle, uncle. She when something is happening physically, that's how you know that it's not auto lock. But my dear, when spiritual leg have already entered, plus spiritual hand, any car can auto lock. Bentley can auto lock. Ferrari, Ferrari, holy auto lock, 
Tu mo ko le land, ko mo ko le land. Holy auto, if helicopter, jet, aeroplane, helicopter, it can anything can auto lock. From that day, I don't trust any automobile with my key. If I'm leaving the vehicle, the key is leaving with me. Please, I have that trust issue and I'm not going to let it go. That was another moment that life humbled me and I looked at myself from head to toe. Ah, ah, Kiki. <laughs> yeah, you wanna? Now, many, many instances I've heard about online scams and I just always ask that how do people fall for these people, like, how can somebody just text me and say, oh, eh, you just won 100,000. Before you can get the 100,000, you need to pay 10,000. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's Bambi Allah now. <laughs> you don't need the help in here now. You can come and tell me, hey, eh, I've won 100,000. And the real sense of it, you yourself, you still need 10,000. But you know that, you see, they used to say that the insect that is chopping okra is at the bum bum of the okra, through the koja vegetable. How do you know, when they cannot get you from front, my dear, always close your back door because they can get you from there. I'm chatting with my friend, normal chatting. She just says, oh my God, Kiki, I'm in a situation, I need 200k, please help me. This girl has never asked me for money before. She has never been in that kind of situation. I'm calling her number, she's cutting it. I'm calling her number, she's cutting it. I'm not very afraid. Yeah. I've been working up on Monday in the cassette is so, ransom. I said, okay, send me the account number. She sent me two different account numbers. She sent 100, 100,000. You know, no matter what kind of concerns. In cases like this, I will even deliberate with say, another person. Yeah, I want to send it maybe with my husband. You, I don't deliberate with anybody. I carry a whole 200,000. I send it. Wow. Next thing, I'm calling this girl. Her number is not going. I went to bed. I wake up, wake up the next morning. I'm seeing her post. Oh, guys, disregard anything you saw from me. I was hacked. What you? Oh, they can't hack you. <laughs> hello, hello, my dear. They can't hack you. They can't hack you. To read me this on 200,000. Oh, hey, they can't hack you. They hack you that what? Hey, who hack you? Who are the hackers? My dear, if they hack you, we're going to be like, you should go and hack them. Nobody can hack hey, they, they hack you what? I mean, I was literally giving a very strong blow in my face. Like, I just paid a scammer. I don't like scammer. I paid them. 200,000. <laughs> Don't touch me. Don't talk to me. I work my money for 200,000. Do you know? Oh, hey, fire bomb me. You know, Joe me. Do you know the. Um, the uh, yeah, as in, do you know the amount of work I gotta work before I make that 200,000? They. What do you, you mean? What? No, no, no. You say what? They, they ask you. Immediately, I'm calling my sister with a lawyer. Hello, my dear, they ask me your younger sister, Leo. What is that, bro? Please, oh, this and this and this happened. Then we began the legal war. I began the legal war. I can't number, I can't name. Oh, go and fight for clinical, clinical. I went to the court. No, I didn't go to the court. Don't let me exaggerate the hear you. So I got a lawyer, went to court, go and got an order to freeze the account. We freeze the account. And then along the line, after a lot of battle, a lot of war, around two to three months, my dear, I got my money back. So I was ready to fight blood. Hey, you might see me, but my look is dangerous. You might look at me, but my look is dangerous. You might see my money in your account, but every currency that I sent to you is dangerous. My dear, I work for my money. Give me my money back. I fought the battle to the last point. My dear, I collect my money, even though I give the lawyer. 15%, yes, 15% of that amount. But I didn't care. You cannot just wake up and scam me of 200,000. And some people are telling me, yeah, my dear, my dear, my dear, my dear, Hey, kid, you want to? We shop me girl only. How much is my shit? No, it's tied by Kiki. How much am I charging for casual look? How much am I charging for evening look? A person in a night with seen a twinkle of a night. You now remove 200,000 in my account and you are telling me, make cash out my dupe. Hey, me dupe, oh, but my dear, and dupe. If I'm in loss, it is a cost. If I'm in loss, but I'm authorized to freeze accounts. If I'm in loss, 200,000, we prove it. Thanks and God bless. <laughs>
All right, guys, these were the five tremendous times that live literally on with me. I hope you had a nice time on this crazy, crazy episode of Kiki Unscripted. Share with me those moments that you know that are, ah, hey, they show you Pepe. Now, if you catch my attention with your experience, I'm literally going to invite you on Kiki Unscripted. Mm -hmm, I said that. And then you're going to share your experience with everybody. Thank you guys for always joining me on every single episode. You make this so fun. You make it exciting to do and until next time like cash you on another episode hey have a go we are going nice day take care okay ready mother mother all of them oh i'm so glad this is my sister's month my, my sister's month my sister's birthday is july 10th yeah yours is 28th right 23 so camera to give me.